In this video I will show you how to fix the voice chat in Valorant. We will be covering multiple methods so make sure to stick around. But before we get started with the methods, something worth mentioning is that you should check whether your microphone has a physical button for muting or lowering the sound. You might have pressed it by mistake. If you're still faced with this issue after doing all of that, let's go over to the methods. For the first method, try opening up your Valorant settings by pressing the escape button, then going over to audio, and then go over to voice chat. Then right here, make sure that you have selected the correct output and input devices by pressing the default system device button on your screen on both output and input device, then you will see a list of devices connected to your PC for both categories. From that list, you will need to choose the correct device that you want to use. Then adjust your mic volume so you make sure that other players are able to hear you. Then you can also try adjusting the microphone sensitivity threshold. This basically determines at which threshold your microphone is going to be activated. Then go over to party voice chat and party voice during custom game. Make sure that you have turned both of these on. Then go over into team voice chat and make sure that you have turned this on as well right here. Now try using your voice chat inside of Valorant and if it's still not working, go over to the next step. Now let's make sure that we have allowed apps on our PC to access our microphone. To check that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write microphone privacy. Then open up the application at the top. Once you get in this application, go over to allow access to the microphone on this device tab and then press change right here and make sure that it's turned on. Then after you do that, go over to allow apps to access your microphone, turn that on as well, then scroll down, then go over to allow desktop apps to access your microphone, check that as well. Now try using the voice chat inside of Valorant. If the issue keeps coming up, move on to the next method. Now we are jumping into the sound settings where we will be doing multiple steps in one single method. To do that, go to the bottom right of your screen and press the arrow, then go over to the speaker, right click it and press sounds. Now that this application has opened up, go over to the recording part and locate your microphone. Right click it, then press properties. First off, check if this device is enabled. To do that, go over to device usage and check this option, use this device enable. Then after you have done that, go over to levels and right here you will need to set up your levels correctly because if you have turned them down a lot, people might not be able to hear you. So find the sweet spot for that. And after you do that, you can move on to the advanced settings. Right here, first off, disable exclusive mode by unchecking both of these boxes because another application might be using your microphone exclusively, so it's not allowing Valorant to access it. And after you're done with all of the changes, go to the bottom right, press the apply button, then press the OK button, and close this out. Now try using your voice chat. If your voice chat is still not working properly, let's jump into the next method. Now let's try troubleshooting our microphone because there might be some general issues with the microphone itself and this way they will get automatically resolved. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button and in here write sound settings. Then open up the application at the top, and once you open up this application, scroll down and locate the input section, then press the troubleshoot button below test your microphone, and once you press this button, this window will open up. Then you will need to go over to this section where it says do we have your consent to run a diagnostics test, and then you will need to select yes. Then after the diagnostic test is finished, you will see a list of your issues when you press this button right here, either yes or no, then you will see a list of your issues if there were any detected. If this didn't resolve your issue, go over to the next method. Last but not least, try restarting your PC. There might be a software issue that could possibly be fixed with a quick restart. Then try running Valorant and see if that helped. That is it for this video. I hope we helped. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.